Alex, she says she has nothing to be ashamed of, and she hopes that by sharing her story, she'll be able to better move on with her life. And we do want to warn you, the story may be disturbing to some viewers. It was almost like one of those moments where you're thinking, um, if this is a nightmare, just let me wake up from it. But it's a nightmare that Marissa Young is still living more than two months after she was brutally attacked while walking her two dogs in a Torrance Park when out of nowhere, someone tackled her to the ground. At one point, he had me on my back and with his fingers around my neck and held me down real close here and was strangling me and sort of let me know that, you know, I have control if you don't stop screaming and yelling that, you know, I will kill you. I fought back like crazy. I did everything to get this person off of me. Um, I bit his fingers. I um, tried to push him off of me. The horrific attack went on for about 30 agonizing minutes. I mean, I was raped uh, on my side, from behind, laying on my back, lots of different positions. He told me to perform oral sex on him, which is when I bit his p as hard as I could to try to bite it off in the hopes that he would run away. Um, it did not come off. It just injured him severely and um, angered him and enraged him, which, you know, he beat me even more severely. He was able to continue the rape even though he was severely injured in that sense. The alleged attacker, 46-year-old Daryl Waters, left her in the dirt, bleeding with missing teeth, fractured bones, deep bite marks, and internal injuries. It, it's been horrific. I was uh, blind pretty much for almost a month. My left eye didn't open. The majority of my injuries came, uh, you know, happened to my left eye because he was right-handed. But as she slowly recovers, she's trying to find a way to forgive him. Because I understand that what he did to me was not personal. I want to get to a point where uh, I try to understand that he's a cycle of abuse and that um, what he did to me was done to him. Her alleged attacker now being held without bail. Uh, GoFundMe has also been set up to help Marissa with her medical expenses and to help rebuild her life. We've got more information for that on our website at foxla.com. Reporting live in Torrance, I'm Chelsea Edwards, Fox 11 News.